die off. Not a Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Ben? Where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. I am. Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be.
Shoot. I know how it works. Finally, we can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. mistake. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. They're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here- If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine.
so. Was she in the light? Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? So, Rock and Sindri made Mom the axe just to help her survive? We have the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. You're back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Cindy. Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. I'm feeling creative today.
Be seeing ya. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, the general warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm, it happens again. You tell me, understand? I promise. came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? 
You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Mm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Hell, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Vellander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Did you see something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Boy. Boy. Okay. That's going in the journal. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. 
There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. No hell, no afterlife, ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Looks like we got him all. Not him. Hey, I thought you didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while moving the body. Oh. friend alive, are we?
interesting. Where's the ring! On that severed hand! Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You are stronger than you know. Green Ring. Dwarvish inscription. The Alchemist. But well, where's the rest of them? Ashes, most likely. Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out, Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And well, it must have burned away the rest of him. 
Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside before he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. <laughs> 